Hey, what's going on ATL? Senior Vice President Aaron Guterman with TLG and Guterman Financial Group. Uh, Trey Brooks will be hosting an event, a networking event down in Atlanta at Sweetwater Brewery on the 25th between 6 and 8 p.m. I hope you can attend. I would love to meet each and every one of you down there. What are networking events for? Listen, they're just to get around, have a good time, converse, and get to know other people in different industries. And there'll be a bunch of professionals coming in from the insurance industry. So y'all get to Sweetwater. Find out what the fuss is all about. Find out why the insurance industry creates quality, freedom, flexibility, and, uh, and income like you wouldn't believe. There are two top industries in the United States, real estate and insurance. Y'all come find out what we have going on. Meet me in Atlanta, Georgia on the 25th, 6 to 8 p.m. Sweetwater Brewery. See you there. What's going on, GT? Welcome to TLG GT Live. I'm SVP Aaron Guterman. Every Tuesday afternoon at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we roll for 30 minutes. And uh, we just get into the motivation, the education, the edification, and the team association. So I love, I love this time throughout the week when we can get together and celebrate what we need to celebrate. Get the information out that I know you need motivate people who are standing there watching quit watching and start doing head down we're now into fourth quarter and we as a union we as a team we as a unit are fourth quarter strong when it comes to the two minute countdown that's when we move under pressure and if you're behind on your goals you ramp up right now when you guys go after it if you haven't been paying attention over the last I don't know, two, three weeks, we've been posting about the pact. If you don't know what the pact is, get with your upline. Ask them what the pact is, and you should join the pact. You should, you should make blood on the pact. You should commit to the pact. That's what it's all about. Also, announcements been made. Christmas at Biltmore. We're currently now into qualification. What are the qualifications? First one to 20K who's unpinned, never hit 20K before auto qualifies and the top five issue paid agents between October and November auto qualify top five issue paid that's where it's at so y'all fight for it y'all go after it Christmas at Biltmore is absolutely mind-blowing if you've never been to Biltmore Estate in uh, Asheville North Carolina this is where you want to be man me and Dana love attending and uh, you know we kind of made it a contest we were gonna go anyways we just love to have y'all with us uh, to go and attend and experience that together. It's just an amazing and beautiful thing to see out there in Asheville. So y'all get out there. Also, we've got a networking event coming up in Atlanta, Georgia, hosted by new TLG agent Trey Brooks. Uh, if you've got anyone in or around Atlanta, send them to Sweetwater Brewery on the 25th. I believe that's Wednesday the 25th. We'll get our facts straight on that, but it's going to be 6 to 8 p.m., and myself and I believe a few more TLG managers might be out there to talk and network with people that you send out so we can explain the business and show them what we do as a team and how we make money, what we do to make money, and how they can do it too. So that's what this event is all about. And uh, guys, it's just, it's a networking event. Trey's hosting and I'll just be there. I'll be, I'll be a special guest, you know, along with other special guests uh, out there as well. So y'all get out there and, uh, bring someone with you if you're in the area people when we hire people <laughs> you know this this is a business where we wear two hats right y'all are out there producing at high levels going 10k 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 just had an agent break out over 100k <laughs> new black diamond like it still blows my mind and we hire people and we teach them how to sell and we 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 have a very direct outline plan for people to follow and move and get, move on uh, because it's validated, it's verified. People like when we hire them though, people are like, I'm tired of living paycheck to paycheck. I wanna be paid what I'm worth. 
I want to take back my time. I'm in. Let me know what I have to do to make what your top agents are making. I'm like, all right, fam. <laughs> me, listen, work, associate, communicate, and sacrifice your time right now until you can get great. See, it's that initial sacrifice up front, that delayed gratification. Stop doing what you've been doing of wasting your time and money. Sacrifice up front so you can get great. Get education daily. Commit 100% and you'll get what they have. Then, okay, I'm in. I'll do it. The very next day. Check me out at this sporting event. I have to take grandma to the store. I'm going on vacation for three days. See, you, see when I get back two weeks later. Check me out at the club. Check me out at the bar. Excuse, excuse, excuse. You see, uh, you see that new show on Netflix? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm broke. I'm busy. I'm tired. I'm just, just going to get another gig that pays me $10, $15, $20 an hour. See, that's what we start getting when people start putting uh, foot to pavement, <laughs> knuckles to steering wheel. When they start driving forward, they'll find excuses not to remain going forward. See, why is there a top 1% to 5% in the nation? They are excuse eliminators, dedicated visionaries, committed, disciplined, and accountable people. That's all it takes, truthfully. Changing their lives through new habits. Why? Because they know what they want. That's why is there a top, there's a top one to five percent. See, the rest just practice broke mindset habits. See, change your mind and change your income. They're directly proportionate to each other. Change how you think and change your income. Cheers to those invested in quality, time, energy, and money. <laughs> the unapologetic truth though, am I cold? Like, you know, I, I'll, I'll give it to you straight pretty much on a daily basis. If you guys talk to me, you know I'm gonna give it to you straight. I'm not gonna sugarcoat a whole lot. But the reason is, is because I take your success very seriously. I know at times that I can be intense. I don't apologize for it. The uh, when we hire you on, we ask you to listen, work, associate, and communicate to create change. And the eight steps to success, if you don't know what those are, study them, practice them, create the habits around them. Those are the foundations of your success. Taking on a minimalist attitude and activity and you'll achieve next to nothing. The biggest struggle is just the growth. That's it. Gro personal growth is usually people's biggest struggle because you have to personally grow in order to financially grow. The system we have itself, I think is the easiest, most predictable thing that we've ever, I've ever seen. And nowadays, way, way, way more easier than what we have to do a flying state to state, you know, running five days in a hotel and a rental car. You know, that's what we used to have to do. See, it's so easy what you get to do now. Joy and purpose and abundance is the attitude and activity you're striving to, you know, you're striving to achieve. The ability to self-start is the, the single greatest skill you can de develop. You know, we talk about mastering the mundane often. Mastering mundane is the simple task, right? Some days our mind takes control and tries to set us into a procrastination haze. Y'all ever feel that? <laughs> like it's like, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. But if you can take hold of the mindset of never put off till tomorrow what you can do today, we trick ourselves into activity tomorrow, then the next day, then the next, and, and the next, and then so on till a week passes and you've accomplished absolutely nothing. We have a good day and talk ourselves into complacency for the rest of the week, like a good sales day, right? Oh, I just sold you know, three to five K over the weekend, or I sold five K on Monday. We're like, you know what? Cheers to me. I'm going to take the rest of the week off. <laughs> or we have a good week and we talk ourselves into complacency for the rest of the month. We wrestle 
with the idea that maybe learning something new is too hard and our mind minimizes our ability to intellectually expand. We move back to what's easy and just accept mediocrity instead of developing new skills. It is a new skill what you're learning here at TLG. It's an absolute developed skill. And I believe every person can develop it if they continue to push forward and move with consistency and move within the mundane tasks of dials, contacts, and sets that directly correlate with income of investment to income. It's the mind's greatest trick when stress is involved. Your body looks to protect itself and reverts back to what you have grown comfortable with. You are your own worst enemy and the battle for your success is always going to be a battle with, your, with yourself. See, the key to a new level, a new you is, number one, recognize what's going on. Push through, make a decision, and force yourself into action. It takes 21 days to create a habit. 21 forced decisions to create a habit. Just do the work when you don't feel like doing the work. Force it to the habit and the small successes start to come. We celebrate the small success trick. <laughs> yeah, we celebrate it to trick your mind and into making it easier to let you do the work that it takes. See, with those small wins, the activity, your activity goes up with a higher rate of confidence and energy. And with a higher rate of confidence and energy, successful results occur when a positive mindset uh, meets acquired skill and education mats, matched with consistent activity. Ways to jumpstart yourself into action. Y'all write this down. Write your goals down and keep them in front of you daily. Make a dream board, whether it be cars, houses, income, vacation destinations, charity, donations, um, a savings account, a rainy day fund, anything you can think of, put it on, put it on a dream board, put, visualize it, put pictures there, put it around you, listen to audio books, read actual books. You know, we've got a book list in workplace. Uh, if you guys go to workplace, Type in book list and you'll find out our book list. Guys, read any book from that book list and roll. Communicate with your growing upline daily. Never miss a conference call, a training event, or conference. Never. Those who miss them, we usually see them later. <laughs> like, see you later. <laughs> Write down a weekly schedule you can commit to and hold yourself accountable. Always remember... If you're willing to work hard for a boss in someone else's dream, be willing to work for yourself. Do the same for yourself. Treat yourself with that much respect that you'll put the time, effort that you would for somebody else. So your mind is eventually going to protect you when stress levels start to hit. Paying your bills, staying just above water. Your mind will kick you into activity no matter what. But usually it's going to be a battle and a minimalist activity to get by. Take back control over yourself. Decide to overcome, overachieve. This is the key to the top of the mountain. Make the decision daily to push through and you will start to stretch what your mind understands to be difficult. Things will get easier and easier. You'll start molding a new life around you. See, success is a mindset. It's a mind game. And new levels are uh, of success are just daily decisions to expand. Remember to keep it simple, guys. The mundane tasks of leads, dials, contacts, sets, try, fail, adjust. Lack of commitment, planning, desire, discipline, and focus are the nails in your entrepreneurship coffin. If you don't want it as bad as you want to breathe, you want to live on a daily basis, you'll never get it. Small goals are always derailed by big problems. Now reverse that. Big goals can't get derailed by small problems. 
See, when you have big dreams and big goals, it's going to take big problems to take you off track. Everyone should be getting after it on a daily basis, guys. Your effort must match your desire. And uh, leads plus work plus positive mindset will always yield massive success. I believe in every single one of you. You've got what it takes, but you just got to put forth the effort. And eventually, your world is going to surround you uh, with massive success and everything that you worked hard for. It is somewhat of a delayed gratification because you don't see instant results from day one. But if you keep at it and you keep turning, they will come. And the more you do it, they come at a greater level. Let's go over our UWAs from week one, October. Jonathan T, 240 AP. Pam Ballantyne on, on, the, uh, on the board, 295 AP. Latif. 417 AP, India, 744 AP, Tia, 827 AP, Diane, uh, Diane Crump, that is, 829 AP, Kirk, 1,010 AP, Terry, 1134, 1,134 AP, Terry, congratulations on the board, Brandon, that's Brandon B, 1,149 AP, Van, Van the man, Van Barnett, 1,182. Dion Poe, 1,200. Chad G, my bro, you got the same last name as me, Chad Gooderman, 1,544. Tanya Parker, 1,549. Deidre Hughes, 1,558. Caitlin Mitchell, 1,572. Trey Brooks, 1,578. Natalie Winfrey, 1,969. Claudia McDonald, 2053. Top 10. Paul Spala, 2404 AP. Number 9. Jared Leifert, 2835. Number 8. Zach Rudebeck, 3205. Number 7. Chris Beret, 4441. Number 6. Peggy Jorquera, 5073. And we got a special top 6 video coming. <laughs> I missed a number. Someone stepped up. Uh, I missed them, but you know what is what it is. Peggy, 5,073. Number five, Stephanie Gargak. Number five, 5,355. Number four, Mark Spear, 5,552. Number three, Lake Savage, 5,738. Number two, Gifty Davis popped over 10K last month for the first time. I believe she's going for 30. That's what she said on the call. Gifty Davis, 6,228 AP. And number one for the week, we've got Kim Glass at 7,488 annual premium. Congratulations to those submitting business week in and week out. Uh, we will read off the entire GT submit number. So y'all, don't leave anything on the table. Don't have a zero week. Get your name read out. Get on the board. You fight. You fight tooth and nail week in and week out to protect these families. That's our mission statement. We never leave a client uh, worse than we found them. We always leave them in a better position than, than we found them. That's what serve and protect actually means. So we fight for it. You know, you guys have plenty of leads, plenty of people to talk to. Y'all go get yours. Stick around for the top five. Hey GT, Peggy Jerquera here, direct to Aaron Guterman since January of 2011 and Art Leaser. Some of you might be saying, well, who's that? Because the last two years, I have taken a sabbatical. I moved across the country from Park City, Utah to Greer, South Carolina. And it wasn't until the last boot camp uh, a few weeks ago that I decided that it was time for me to get back in the game and start playing. So it took me until Wednesday uh, last week. I went up to my office and I wrote three applications one of them was a referral that I had actually done in May. And uh, there were some issues of her having surgery, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, she said, get back in touch with her. She never answered the phone, called, called, whatever. And then finally, I got in touch with her Wednesday. And we resubmitted it because everything's great now with her health. So the other two were conversions. One client was actually um, one of my first clients in 2011. And she had... Uh, just got a promotion assistant principal and she was delighted to hear about the universal life so we put one on her and converted her term into that 
Another one was kind of sad because there was a death. Um, his partner had died and I did, wasn't able to put coverage on him. He had a lot of medications, but he wouldn't um, come forth with the medications and wouldn't allow me to try to get him covered because he was very, very hard to get a hold of. And his partner called me just to find out, you know, what he wanted to go over his information. So we rolled his term into a universal life as well. So my suggestion to everybody is, you know, just be persistent. Don't give up. Don't quit. And take care of your clients because, you know what, they all need us. And it was time for me to stop being selfish and start taking care of the people that need to be taken care of. So you all have a great day and I will see you again. Hey everybody, my name is Stephanie. I'm direct to the Goodermans, Chad, then Aaron, then Art. I was four for the week with two apps, 5,355 AP. I am from Kansas City. Um, this week I want to talk about um, follow-up. So the clients that I helped this week originally had responded to a text blast probably a couple months ago, scheduled an appointment, got rescheduled, then got postponed, and called them a few times, couldn't get a hold of them, um, pulled some of my contacts back out, reached back out, and then finally was able to book the appointment. So. Um, as people have said before, don't give up, don't retire um, a lead, um, always cycle those back through, reach back out, um, follow up, people get busy, people forget, um, people get tired, whatever it is, things happen, so it's our job to um, remind them and be consistent, reach back out and follow up and help the family protect their future. So. That's what I've got this week. Uh, hopefully see you all next week on the top five. Have a good one. What's up GT, Mark Spear, director Aaron Gudeman, director Art Leeser, coming at you from Youngsville, North Carolina. Last week I finished up in the number three position, five applications, $5,552 annual premium. Uh, congratulations to everybody else in the top five. Kim hitting number one. Gifty, way to see you up there. Number two, uh, Stephanie coming off of vacation, back on the board, crushing it, number four position. And Peggy, great to see you back in action. There's a lot of big things coming up from you. I know that. <laughs> this this woman can hit 40,000 in two weeks. So I've seen it. <laughs> I've run against her and she beat me. <laughs> but anyway, great to see you back up there. Um, this last week for me, uh, you know, one of the things I want to talk about is... Um, repeat business and that is building the relationship with your clients so that they feel comfortable with repeat business and not so much uh, the conversions conversions are great you know but uh, it's when somebody runs into you know you have somebody that had health risks or health issues height and weight restrictions smoking status prior and you know we say to the clients that we're going to build a relationship with them we're going to meet with them every year uh, to see if we can put them in something better and just so happened just one case in particular um, the woman had lost 70 pounds she had come off of metformin she had um you know quit smoking and so we were able to get her instead of a um you know final expense product we were able to move her into a term product and with approval and so that just kind of shows you what kind of what your repeat business on, on how you can put people in a better position. Uh, but not only that, building that lasting relationship with them, because I guarantee you this, she's, you know, she's already talked to me about, you know, helping the rest of her family out. Um, she's going to put my word, put my name out there to the, uh, the church group and, you know, let them know how I was able to take care of her and put her in the best possible solution. So again, always go back through your book of business. This is what we do. We build books of business and you have to go back through them and check on all your clients. And this is why keeping explicit notes is so important. So that way you can flip back to that client in their file and see where what you put them in, what situations they were in when you first wrote the business, but then see if we can help them out and put them in a better position. So I hope that helps everybody out. Um, and uh, let's go crush the rest of the uh, month. We have three weeks to go and we have contests running. I plan on winning them. I hope to see you guys all there as well. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, my name is Gifty Davis. 
coming to you from Virginia. My upline is Aaron. Shout out Aaron. Um, thank you so much for your support. Um, I'm coming to you today just to share a little bit about how I made it to top five this week um, with uh, being at the t uh, top, well, number two with three applications and 6,228 um premium submissions well this these apps that i wrote were people that i had followed up with for some time um i talked to them about insurance timing was just not right it seemed like it was they had the means but they were just not ready to move forward so i kept in touch with them you know has talked to them about other things but always kept insurance somewhere in the conversation and when the timing was right they called me um, they had actually been approached by another insurance agent but they decided let's give Gifty a call we understood what she explained um, you know they wanted me to compare what has been shared with them and I was able to do that and was able to get these applications so we all go through these you know things like this where we talk to people we explain things to them you thought you were closing and then they're not they're just not ready i just want to encourage you don't give up you know keep going down your list keep calling setting appointments but stay in touch with some of these appointments that you know within you will turn into um you know a sale and just you know keep keep moving art has and told us you know, 30,000 should be our limit. I want all of us to have that goal. If you haven't made it up to 30,000, that should be your goal for this this uh, month. We're making it 30,000 and beyond. I did it. You can do it. Uh, let's all move forward. Let's go get it for this month. What is up, T-O-G-G-T? It's Kim Glass, Wilmington, North Carolina, and I'm coming at you number one for the week of October, first week of October, 2023. And uh, basically I'm, I've, I've risen from the end of September, which I have now called September 2023, because you know what? Everybody has some downtime sometimes, but I ended up getting sick, missed boot camp, really depressed me. I was really down um, and I lost my voice for about five days. So, and I had no energy. It was a real energy zapper, just, wasn't feeling good even the next week when I came back, but I came back and just tried to do as much as I could the end of September, but it's just, you know, it wasn't good, <laughs> but guess what? I am glad some other people had a really fantastic September, but mine just wasn't, so I wasn't going to carry that into October. You know, I watched Aaron's video about the pact and also the incentive he put out, and i I readjusted my goals I'd already written down after I saw that, and I want to be on that candlelight tour. I want to be there with the Gudermans and go to Biltmore at Christmas. I am the biggest Christmas person. I am Hallmark Queen Christmas time. I love it. So I definitely, I'm I'm running and gunning. Plus, Art challenged me to be at twenty thousand on this by the sixteenth for the uh, mid mid month checkup. So. I'm sitting over 10,000 AP right now, and I'm not going to let up. I got my momentum back. I did not carry the end of September into October. I, I wrote down a lot of notes from that talk that he did, and I literally just went to work, y'all. I scheduled more appointments, uh, sets, and just dialed until mentality, um, text blasts, and use Zippo to do drips, and stayed on top of my real-time leads coming in that you know, even when I was away for a couple of days with my dad, at the beginning of last of October, um, I still stayed on top of that. I told him, I said, listen, I can't just completely not work. Um, you know, the, the last two weeks were just not great for me, dad. I've got to, um, come back and, you know, I miss my cash flow glow and I miss the, um, of helping and serving families really that I miss that the most out of everything but I got it back and it felt so good to have some stuff lined up when I got back from those two days with my father um, away on a, a really special dad daughter trip for his birthday and it was amazing um, 
last Monday's call was just invigorating with the National Call with Art and hearing all of the top um, producers last month and especially Josh. I mean, come on. If that didn't motivate you, you guys are in the wrong thing. I'll need to go do something else. But anyway, I I really got motivated by that and by Aaron's um, video he put out that Sunday. I, I wrote down so many notes and I took the pack and I just went to work, y'all. You've got to set more because you, you've got to expect that you're going to have reschedules and no shows, even if you stay on top of them and, and really, you know, time and tight, it's going to happen. So listen, it is the start of week two. I am so excited to just do more and, and just put in more activity so that I can have more sets this week and protect more families and uh, get that much closer to Christmas and Biltmore with the Goodermans and everyone else that wins the trip. So anyway, hope this helped. You guys just stay positive. That The positive mental mindset is everything. And uh, go just slay it this week and the rest of this quarter. Let's end 2023 with a major blowout of production and just activity. Let's do it.